Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? Why? But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. 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 The moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My... Oh no! One of the buttons popped uh. off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Three! 
4 minus 1 equals 3. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons. Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Two! Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One! Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero! One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? His, his belly, belly button! button. And he kept on singing his song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking. In my school shoes. Pete is sitting at his desk. When his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? The library! Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He finds his favorite book and sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my 
Can be loud and busy in the lunch room. Does Pete worry? Goodness no! He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. Pete and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? The playground. Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness no. He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing. In my school shoes, I'm playing. In my school shoes, I'm playing. In my school shoes. All day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting in my school shoes. I'm adding. Done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, "What did you do at school today?" And Pete says, "I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking." Again tomorrow, because it's all good. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. Twas the day before Christmas, and Santa was ill. In the cold winter wind, he had caught a bad chill. Will Christmas be canceled? Will it come to that? Never! Cried Santa. Let's call Pete the Cat. Santa asked Pete to deliver the toys to all the good girls and to all the good boys. I'll do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. Pete jumped in his minibus and started to roll. Road trip! cried Pete. First stop, the North Pole. The reindeer were waiting to give Pete a tow, so he packed up the presents and told them to go. Then the minibus flew, just like in a movie. Pete the cat cried, "This is totally groovy. I can do it," said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give. So I'll give it my all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. So give it your all. As the children were sleeping all snug in their beds, Pete and his reindeer appeared overhead. 
Straight down the chimney, Pete flew in a dash, then back in his minibus, quick as a flash. Each time he delivered a holiday gift, he crossed off a name written on Santa's list. Santa's list was so big, and Pete felt so small. But at Christmas, we give, so he gave it his all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. So give it your all. At the very last minute, they reached the last house. Pete dashed in and out just as quiet as a mouse. Then, right at the break of the new Christmas day. Pete and his reindeer were flying away. Back at the North Pole, old Santa was waiting. The elves and the town folk were all celebrating. Santa was dressed in his red coat and hat and cried, "Hip hip hooray for our friend Pete the Cat!" I did it," said Pete. And although I am small, in the spirit of Christmas, I gave it my all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. So give it your all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. Sunday, and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when beep beep beep. There was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, "Hey owl, what do you see?" Owl said, "All I see are green shoes and a red hat." Pete answered. Sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by until finally. Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, "I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver too." The new guy said to Pete, "Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus." Pete said, "You're not like me." And I am not like you, but I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. "Hi, Gus," said Squirrel. "Climbing is easy. Try and see." Gus gave the tree a try. But the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, "Don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do." On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend Grumpy Toad. Who said, "Come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see." Gus jumped and leaped. 
but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, Come juggle with me. Juggling is easy. Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Pete said, Check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn by Kimberly and James Dean It is the first day of fall and Pete the Cat is feeling blue I like summer better, he says in summer I can swim and surf and play at the beach Maybe you just need to remind yourself Of all the things you love about autumn Mum suggests, Pete says I'll try Pete finds Grandma in the kitchen She's baking delicious pumpkin pies the whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping Grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. After the baking is done, Pete picks a squad orange pumpkin from the counter and slips it into his backpack as a souvenir. Next, Pete heads to the town corn maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long twisty paths made of tall corn stalks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As he leaves, Pete plucks a golden corn cob from the maze and places it inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting on the porch. Grandpa helps Pete use the knitting needles to knit the yarn into cool patterns. Together, Pete and Grandpa make a long cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they're done, Pete chooses a little ball of leftover yarn and places it inside his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hayride at the park. Pete, Bob, Mom, Dad and Grandpa all pile into a wagon filled with hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride round the park. Woohoo! Pete shouts. At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of sweet smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete heads over to the apple orchard where he and Collie go apple picking. They eat sweet apple donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Next, Pete stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete scores a touchdown and everyone cheers. After the game, 
He grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this. Pete says. Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in his front yard, which is covered in bright leaves falling from the trees. Pete helps his dad rake the leaves into big colourful mounds. Then Pete runs and jumps into all the leaf piles. After he's done jumping, he picks a bunch of red and gold and orange leaves and stuffs them into his backpack. Pete's backpack is bursting with fall souvenirs. He can't wait to show Mum. I love autumn, Pete says. Wonderful, says Mom. You know these would make great decorations for a Thanksgiving. So Pete helps Mom fill a basket with all his mementos. They place the basket at the centre of the table. You did a great job, Pete, says Mom. It's beautiful, says Dad. Is that my football? Asks Bob. Just then, the doorbell rings. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All of Pete's family and friends gather round the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. Pete looks round the table and smiles. He loves lots of things about autumn, but Pete knows what he loves most all year long. His family and friends. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Three! Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons. Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Two! Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons, my buttons. My buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One! Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? His, his belly, belly button. button! 
and he kept on singing his song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Here comes Pete strolling down the street. Rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Pete is sitting at his desk. When his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? The library! Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? He finds his favorite book and sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat. In a big, noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? The lunchroom! It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating. And his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? The playground! Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes, I'm playing in my school shoes, I'm playing in my school shoes. All day long Pete sings his song, I'm singing in my school shoes, I'm painting in my school shoes, I'm adding Done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, What did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking. again tomorrow because it's all good.
Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. My red shoes, I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes, I love my red Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue! Did Pete cry? He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 I love. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown, and all the blue, and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? Why? But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. 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 The moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. Pete the Cat Super Pete by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat is out for a walk. Pete listens to the owls. He listens to the frogs. Just then, Pete hears a bee. It is not coming from outside. It is coming from his watch. Pete races home. It is time for Pete the cat to become Super Pete. Pete presses a button in his room. The wall slides away. Pete sees a set of steps. Down, down, down he goes. Pete steps into his lair. It is full of groovy things to help him fight crime. Pete the Cat puts on his awesome cat suit. He puts on his cape and his sneakers. Now Super Pete is ready to save the city. Pete sees a flash in white. There is a message on his computer. 
It is the mayor. Come quick, Super Pete, the mayor says. We need your help. There is trouble at the warehouse. Pete pulls a lever. Whoosh. Pete's nifty jet sinks into his lair. Pete hops into the jet. He zips into the air. Super Pete is on his way to save the day. Pete races through the sky. He hits a button. The jet shimmers. The jet disappears. Now the jet is invisible. No one will know. Super Pete is coming. Pete hovers over the warehouse. He straps on a parachute. He jumps. Pete lands on the roof. He goes inside the warehouse. It is dark. He cannot see. Pete puts on his night vision goggles. He sees two bad guys. They are carrying a box. Pete picks up a rock. He puts it in his slingshot. The rock hits the box. The bad guys drop the box. They climb out a window. Pete races to the window. The bad guys have a boat. They are getting away. Pete pushes a button on his cat suit. His sneakers turn to flippers. A mask closes over his face. Pete jumps into the water. He swims after the bad guys. Pete takes a rope from his pocket. He twirls it over his head. He tames. He throws. The rope catches the boat. Pete pulls himself along the rope. Pete climbs into the bad guy's boat. He ties up the bad guys. Pete pushes a button on his watch. His jet appears above him. Pete pulls the bad guys into his jet. Pete brings the bad guys to the mayor. Super Pete saved the day. Pete the cat was walking down the street. In his brand new white eyeglasses, Pete loved his white eyeglasses so much. He sang the song. I love my white eyeglasses. 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 Oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his white eyeglasses? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. I love my red eyeglasses. 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 Oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his red eyeglasses? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue eyeglasses. 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 Oh no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his blue eyeglasses? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown eyeglasses. 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 Oh no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown. And all the blue. And all the red. Were washed away. What color were his eyeglasses again? White. But now, they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Rock and roll. I love my wet eyeglasses. 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 The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song.
Because it's all good. Pete the Cat, I love my white eyeglasses. Hey cool kids! Wearing glasses is like putting on superhero vision. See the world clearly and keep those eyes shining. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this version of Pete the Cat book, like share and subscribe. Meow meow. Pete the Cat Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh oh. His basket was empty except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs, paint the eggs, hide the eggs. Thanks. The faster bunny. P.S. Wear these. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny now. That's funny. Happy Easter, chickens. Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter bunny. Sure, Pete. We have a lot of eggs, the chicken said. We are happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then, Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny. A cat dressed up like a bunny. Now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop. Off to the toolsh for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color. Some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, P had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where? Oh, where? Would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one. When the Easter bunny arrived, great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter bunny. The Easter bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody. It was Sunday, and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when... Beep, beep, beep! There was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old Owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, Hey Owl, what do you see? Owl said, All I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, Sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by. Until finally, Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver, too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, You're not like me and I am not like you. But I think being different is really very cool. 
On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus," said Squirrel. "Climbing is easy. Try and see." Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, "Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something." Everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend Grumpy Toad, who said, "Come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see." Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, "Don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do." On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, "Come juggle with me. Juggling is easy." Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, "Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do." On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said. I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet, Pete said. Check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. I love my white headphones. 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 Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white headphones. Pete loved his white headphones so much he sang this song. I love my white headphones. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his white headphones? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. I love my red headphones. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his red headphones? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue headphones. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his blue headphones? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. 
He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown headphones. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water, and all the brown, and all the blue, and all the red. We're washed away. What color were his headphones again? Why? But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Rock and roll! I love my wet headphones. 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 Squeak, squeak, squeak. The moral of Pete's story is: no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. Thank you very much for watching. This version of Pete the Cat is dedicated to all the cool and amazing kids who need to wear headphones. I hope this video helps. To all parents, teachers, therapists, and caregivers, taking good care of all these wonderful kids, you are doing a great job. Meow.